Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a mask first impression. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while. I really, really love mask first impressions and I know y'all do too. When I saw this new one from Freeman, I was like, oh, of course I gotta try it because I'm like Freeman's biggest fan. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Detoxifying Kale and Dandelion Gel Bubble Mask. I have tried one bubble mask before and it didn't really like do anything for my skin. I have talked about it in one of my empties of videos. We will see if this bubble mask does anything for my skin at all. I have like little bumps like everywhere right now for some reason. I think it's just because I haven't moisturized yet. It's been like unmoisturized for like 10 minutes, so I'm getting like red bumps everywhere. So hopefully that's the only reason. I just thought this was pretty interesting because it is kale and dandelion. Kale is good for your stomach, so now let's see if it's good for your skin. It says, let your skin drink in the benefits of juice cleanse with kale, the queen of greens, an alkalizing dandelion to eliminate impurities. The delicious scent of fresh pressed juice, the refreshing gel transforms into a fizzy detoxifying bubble foam. The oxygenating bubbles minimize the appearance of pores and rejuvenate dull, stressed skin to transform you into a green goddess. Perfect for all skin types. The directions say, a Apply a thin layer of gel over dry, clean face, avoiding eyes and hairline. Bubbling forms once gel comes into contact with the skin. Leave on 10 minutes. My skin concerns are texture. You see that? That's like one big blackhead. Here's my skin up close. I don't know if you can tell. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open. It doesn't smell too great. I really don't know what it smells like. Okay, we're gonna shoot. Wow, this really does start bubbling up like right away. This is like the bubbliest mask I've ever tried. It literally just looks like I'm gonna shave my face. <laughs> I got this headband in Costa Rica. It actually feels like nothing on my skin. It feels like shaving cream. It's good as a hairspray. Did you see that? Like how frizzy those were and now they're like stuck down. So, look at this. My nostril holes look... <laughs> so weird okay and it says to leave it on for 10 minutes i'm gonna go clean my little mittens off it's like about 11 45 when i applied it so i'll be back at about 11 45 oh wow i look good it's been about 10 minutes i've tried not to touch my face at all look at the package it's like Filmed up in little places. Then gently massage, foam into skin, and rinse off with warm water. I'm gonna gently massage. Whoa, it's so weird. It feels like dry and stiff. Like you can't really massage it because it's super sticky. It's literally my eyelashes. It's like so sticky, like so sticky. We're gonna go wash this off with warm water and see if my skin is like magic. I don't know how I'm gonna turn my camera off. I just will wipe off one of these little phalanges. That took a little longer than expected. I will say my skin feels a lot softer, but I feel like any face mask will do that. Minimizing the appearance of pores, rejuvenate dull stress skin to transform me. Here's a close-up of my skin right now. Can y'all tell the difference? I think it just feels softer. I'm just gonna put my toner on and, that and just kind of talk about it. It did get a little itchy. I think that was just the bubbles. Like, at one point, I was a little burny as well. Washing it off was actually so hard. I did have to use my silicone facial thing. It just kept lathering up. It literally just felt like a super foamy, super lathery face wash. I guess I'll use it up, but it's nothing special. This isn't what I would reach for if I was wanting to, like, clear out my skin. Maybe if I just wanted to have fun but honestly like i wouldn't reach for this like on a normal basis those red bumps are still there they just all like kind of shrunk which is good i did have like a little zit coming up right here it's still the same like nothing like that changed i hate whenever mask videos turn out to be just like meh because then i feel like there's no point in the video but at the same time people are still searching for it and maybe the things that i said happened make someone else want to purchase it and to me, it's just like, meh. Tell me down below, mask you want me to try, if that really intrigue you, that you want to know if you want to buy them. I will probably buy them because I really love masks, but I haven't really tried out any recently. The last ones I tried out were the other Freeman packet masks. Are there any other Freeman masks that you don't think I've tried that you love? Are you like a big fan of bubble masks or do you think bubble masks are just like a gimmick, like just to have fun? I don't think this is like an awful mask, but I also don't think it's like a miracle mask. Just 
just doesn't seem like something worth it. What it really reminded me of when I was washing it off was just like a deep cleanser. If you just want a nice deep cleanser, then yeah. Those are my thoughts on it. Maybe as a deep cleanser if you really just want a deep cleanser. How many times can I say deep cleanser in the next sentence? But not really as like a detoxifying. Like it says detoxifying on there, but maybe there will be long-term benefits. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't too much of like a, yes, this is amazing or Ugh, this is awful. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.